1000 and today we are d decided to go fishing around the corner from our house like we our, our little spot here that we have <laughs> so um yeah it's nice out so we wanted to be outside so we decided to come over here and see if we can catch any fish um i left bruna at home with my mom again uh he wasn't happy but um yeah it makes life easier for me and i can catch and enjoy the day instead of you know worry about him most of the time when we're over here he sits in the car uh, he doesn't he'll sit out here for a little bit but um gets too hot so i mean it's still hot it's in the 80s high 80s so but for us that that's good weather that that's great it's not 100 degrees so um if i catch anything i'll bring you back on not if when i catch something I'll bring you back on. Hey guys, I caught a fish. Yay! Hey guys, I'm going to take you back. I'm going to go get my I'll pliers. Go, I'll go get him. Huh? I just want to show this. Oh, okay. I guess you, Lucky's going after him. Yeah. There he is. I caught a fish. Well, now Yay. I'll go get him because I got my broad on it. There he is. So that's a catfish? Yep. See the spots I was telling you about the other night? Yeah. See all them spots? That's mm -hmm. a channel cat. What's that red spot underneath them? You see a red spot? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Cool, huh? Is he a different type of fish? No, like, it's a catfish. It's a catfish, but... Um, all right. What? <laughs> all right, guys. So I caught one. He's a different type of catfish. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just it's a catfish. I've never caught him before. Yeah, you've caught Channel Cat. Have I? Yep. Mm. All, All right. right. Okay, guys. I'm trying to get a fish. He's biting. I've been using my shrimp, and I've used a lot of my shrimp up. And I don't know if you guys can see or not. Uh, hopefully you guys can. He's playing with my, my rod. So I used a lot of shrimp. I used it all up, so I'm using shavers. Um, gizzard, so trying to do it with grizzler now. So poor Shea Bear, he he had a turtle and he he broke his rod. The turtle just got underneath all this mush and stuff in front of us, and and he had a heck of a time getting it out. So he never did get it out, and um, it broke his rod. So. Um, now I'll have to get him a new rod. I told him he needs some heavy duty ones. You know, because we always seem to catch a dang turtle no matter what. If he does, I do. I don't know. But, you know, it's just... They, they're they so heavy and so hard to bring in. They fight you right to the end. And it's no fun, really. Not when you get a turtle. And take them home and feed, eat them. Shea Bear says it just takes too long to mess with them and he doesn't want to have to do all that work you know and i don't blame him so we always put them back so um, you know this is for pleasure not to strangle yourself to death and you know he was huffing and puffing and he's tired so you know it's just too much for him i told him get a heavy duty one and maybe that'll work a little bit better so you won't won't have to pull so much trying to get him in and but they try to get underneath all this grass and stuff, and he thinks there's a log underneath there. That's what they're trying to get underneath is a log. So, I don't think he, this guy here, I don't know what he's doing, but he keeps biting me. He's biting my food, but he's not taking it. So, yeah, they just bite it. They nibble on it. So, sometimes I think that is little, or it's a turtle that's doing that. That's what I think. So, I don't want no dang turtle. I've had my share of turtles, too, and God almighty. They, they're hard to bring in. They really are. So, anyways, we'll have to get them some new rods. Maybe something better. I mean, we buy Walmart brand ones, you know. I mean, they're a good price. And if you're going to break them all the time, you don't want to spend a fortune on them. But sometimes it pays to, you know... Use that a little extra money. I don't think I got him. 
-uh. He's trying. He's nibbling. That's what he's doing. So I think that's turtles that are doing that. And there's a lot of turtles in here. So. See? He doesn't go all the way out. He's just kind of halfway. Yeah. So, anyways. I might reel this out and try a different spot. Because I'm thinking this is a friggin' turtle. Anyways, guys. I'll bring you back on if I catch something. I got another fish! Cool! Woo, yeah! Isn't he pretty? Hopefully you guys can see him. Cool beans! Actual fish. Finally catching a fish. They're all fish, mind you, but I like him. He's pretty. Really pretty. Really? Yeah! I got a fish! You know, I just knocked my chair over. I'm sorry. With my pop in it. That pop you just gave me. Oh. What is it? It's a fishy. What kind? I don't know. Fun? No, close though. Right, let me get Bluegill. He's pretty. Picture of him first. I don't know how much I got. Okay, guys. I got him. I got him. Isn't he pretty? He's a bluegill, right? Yep. He's a baby, though. Yeah. Cute. Okay, guys. I caught a turtle. He had a heck of a time getting him out. They're really hard because what they do. They get into all this mush right here, all this grass, and they cut, get underneath there, and you can't get them out. They're really hard to get out. So, um, yeah, he had to take all this stuff out, and he had to stand right there in that hole and try to get them. And, uh, yeah, they're really, really stubborn little things. But well, he got them. That's a soft-shell turtle. Yeah. Yeah, that's the back of him. He's upside down in the net. He's gonna he's gonna weigh it. So when he comes back, we'll we'll see what how much it weighs. We'll be back. Okay, he's back and he's weighing him. He's got scales. He's like, uh oh. So there's the front of him. There he is. Top of him. Top of him. You're missing. Yeah, he's not happy. Sixteen point six one. Not as big as my other one, but it's up there. That's pretty fat, big, but my other one was bigger. Yeah, but yeah. still. Yeah, that's a big, big 16 .1, one. 16.61. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Got his head poking out a little bit. And you're bringing him in on 12-pound test. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and a $20 Walmart rod. And I just said to him, I said, you know, just cut it because he struggles. He has huffs and puffs. I can't do that. I be in the dang water. And uh, I don't know how he does it. And he just did two today, so that's that's a lot for him. Yep. Yeah. It's so. Right, huh? It's all right. <laughs> Rest tomorrow, right? No, I got stuff to do. No. Oh. Okay, guys, so if I catch something else, I'll be back. There you go. Yeah, cool. I caught a baby fish, but I caught a fish. I had, I got snagged. Um, I believe it was a turtle, and it broke my line, so I came back, got him to fix my line, and came back out, and I had a little piece of shrimp here, so I used it. It wasn't even out five seconds, and I got him. So, any pretty? 
Okay, let me go and get this off and we'll do another one. Hey guys, it is raining. I'm sorry I got you so close. I probably had it for the turtle. Anyways, it's raining. And I'm underneath the umbrella. So I'm okay. I think Shaver's getting in the car. I don't know. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys can see that rain. Yeah. I got my umbrella here. It's slowing down a little bit. I don't mind this kind of rain. It doesn't bother me. I got my umbrella to keep the camera, you know, where it needs to be, so. I had another fish, but it just kind of fell off as I was reeling it in. So, I figured it was small. I don't know if he wants to. He's putting the windows up, I think. That's what he's doing. So, while the rain doesn't get in the car, he might sit in it. His umbrella broke, so he, it's in the back, though. He could use it if he wanted to. Um, yeah, so. As long as I, my electronic stuff don't get wet, I don't care. I'm getting my knees getting a little wet, but that's no big deal. I don't think it's going to last too long. It doesn't seem like it. It's just dark up here. And, uh, yeah. I don't know about this fish. See if I'm getting anything. Sometimes it's good in the rain to catch fish. But if I hold my pole too long, I jerk too much and jiggle. So then I never catch anything. So I gotta put my pole down. just to see if I caught something. I've got something here, but I don't know. There's a lot of little minnows in here, so they hit that meat and they're playing with it, and you think you got a fish and you don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's stopping now a little bit. Uh, let me check and see if my meat's still there. It probably is. It should be. Yeah, it is. There it is. So, <laughs> I'll put it back out and see if I can catch some kind of fish. Yeah. I like using shrimp. It really works, but the problem is they eat the heck out of it. I think the turtles eat it. I think that's what it is more than anything. They really like to eat that shrimp, I think. But I did get that couple of other fish, so that was good. I was happy about that today. Yeah, that was kind of nice. I'm not happy with this. <laughs> no. I think I'll bring it back in and do it again. So, nah, I'm not too happy about it. So, there. Let that work. Bring it down for a minute and just bring it up a bit. I'll put it on the grass here. One time, the dang thing took off on me and fell in the water. I am she bear had to go get it, poor guy. But anyways, I'll bring you back on if I catch something. I was hoping I'd catch that, but I didn't get it, so maybe it was something small. I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm sitting here, I see this orange thing, I'm like, what the heck is that for? You know? So I called Shea Bear over, and he, he looked at it, he said, oh, that's somebody, he, because uh, there's, there's a cord that goes all the way out to the water. So, um, yeah. So, I was wondering what the heck it was. So he came over and he brought it out, and it's a bait thing. Someone's got his bait in there. So we just threw it back in and um, yeah so he could get his bait I guess. There's a name on it. Let me see if I can get the name closer and see 
Because there is a name on here. Let me see here. There you go. I don't know how close we can get. But there you go. Yeah, there's some kind of name on it. I'll check it out on the big screen at home. Oh, sorry guys. Anyways, I couldn't reach it. If I reached it, I would be in the water, so I'm a klutz, so. Uh, yeah, too much of a klutz. Got my reel in. It did stop raining. It rained a little bit longer again, and didn't catch nothing. Had a few bites, but um, now the sun's back out, so maybe I'll catch something now. I don't know. So we'll stay here a bit longer and see what we get. See the sky? Yeah. See see all that? <laughs> yeah, it's moved now. But it was a nice rain. It was a cool rain, so it really wasn't bad. I had my umbrella, so I don't care. You know, it didn't bother me. Yeah, as long as I keep the camera dry, I don't care. You know. So I'll put you back on as soon as something happens. It's the cranes, y'all, you're hearing. Well, I was, I'm going to do my outro, just in case. I do have my rod in, but it's been raining, and I hear thunder, so I think I'm going to wrap it up. Sorry for the umbrella, but it keeps me dry. <laughs> and it keeps the sun off of me, too, when it's hot. That's the cranes making that noise. <laughs> anyway, so... I've caught, I think I've had a pretty good day. I think I've done pretty good, you know, in the last few days. God, are they noisy. They're so noisy. They're flying around. <laughs> There's like five of them all together way over there, so, yeah. Wow. They're beautiful, though. Anyway, so I'm going to stay here for a few more minutes, and it keeps making thundering noises, so, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to get up before it rains again and get this stuff back in the car. And, um, yeah. So, if I don't catch any more, then that's it. If I do, I'll let you know. I'll come back. Um, but, yeah, I had a good day. Really nice to finally catch something different, too. That was nice. You know, so. Anyways. Monka says she's out for now, y'all. Have a great day and rest of the week if you don't get any more videos up this week. I don't know if I will be able to. Uh, I got appointments with my mom. To, um, two appointments and one I have to make for Shaber this week. So we're going to be a little busy with doctors. And uh, yeah, so. But if we get any more up, you know, we'll let you know. You'll see them. So, y'all have a great rest of the week. Take care, y'all. Monkey says bye. Bye, y'all.